That's how I play the game! This controller is a piece of shit. Fuck shit, dicks, cocks, ass, balls. Fuck cocks, dicks, ass. The game was a fucking cocksucker. Bullshit! Oh my god! What? I never failed the mission. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Ah! I don't want to do a big plug segment today. I don't. I just don't feel like it. I want to jump into new games. And you guys know if you cheer yourself or tip today, you'll get a shout out. You know the rules about not bringing in negativity or drama or referencing negative memes or doing po politics or, or or that kind of stuff, religion in the chat. You know, you guys know all the rules, all right? I'm not going to go into them uh, into super detail today. I'm just not. But what I will say is this, guys. Today, if you want to help me out the most, and you, I really do need the help right now, please tip me on the stream. If you have the option to say, gee, I want to help fill out today. How can I help? Tipping me helps me the most. And the reason being... Is because right now, financially, I'm broke. I make way more money than Tevin. I mean that. I'm broke. Um, What happened is, over the summer, YouTube ad revenues plummeted for me because they took away my ads for three weeks. Then I changed my video format to longer videos. And it took quite a long time for my YouTube channel to kind of get back on its own feet. So I've been kind of behind on money ever since then. Now, in addition to that, as you guys know, I, I, I left my partnership on YouTube. Uh, with curse so that made me so that my money was kind of not only decreased but staggered as well when it gets when I get paid I used to get paid on the 10th of every month now I get paid on the 20th or later for YouTube now in addition to all of that what uh, Twitch you know has been my main source of income for the past you know many months since the summer basically Twitch has taken over as my main source of income and don't get me wrong I'm not complaining Twitch has been great <laughs> but Twitch doesn't pay me until like the 15th of the month, usually. And right now I'm in a pickle because almost all my bills clear before then. Like almost every single bill that I pay in the month clears between the 1st and the 13th. And it's really annoying because basically the way that I had things set up previously worked because my payments would come in and it's in tune with all of my bills and everything. Now they don't. Now I get all my payments around the same exact time of the month, but then all my bills come due before, and I'm like, shit, the money's not here yet. And this is what happened to me this week. All my bills came due. Twitch didn't pay me yet. And so I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Now I have no money. <laughs> you know? So this sucks. It really does. It's no, it's, it's no one's fault. It's just a shitty situation where it's all the stuff that changed over the last few months in regards to the YouTube situation and everything that, you know, I'm in a tough time right now. I am, all right? I make way more money than Tevin. So, <clears throat> if you want to help me out the most today, all right, the best way that you can help me is tipping me because tips I get right away and I'll be able to put those right towards my bills, right into the bank account um, until basically this, this freaking Twitch payment comes through, which... At the latest, it's supposed to be the 15th of the month. Last one, they came through on the 12th. I just looked it up. I was like, man, that was useful because it came through early. It didn't come through early this month. So now that's why I'm kind of screwed. Um, so please, consider tipping me if you can. How do you tip? There's two ways. If you look below my stream, there's a tip jar button you can click on. Bullshit! Or you can type in exclamation point tip into the stream chat. That'll also bring up a link that brings you to my tips page. Um, again, if you have the option, I, listen, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Anything you, you guys contribute, cheers, subs, uh, you know, play, Patreon, Teespring, my new Teespring line of product, the, the, the holiday merch has launched and all that. Um, so anything is appreciated, but, you know, right now tipping me would help me the most. Okay, guys? Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. Hodor Targ cheered, and it's, it's, when I read something like this, it's hard to t see if this guy's being serious or not, or if he's trying to be facetious. I'm going to read what he said. Let's see what you guys think. He says, Sad to hear that Twitch forgot to pay you. Now, I never even said that. That's not what happened at all. But, you know, he's spinning it in a way to make it sound silly. Can you describe a little bit how tough it is living paycheck to paycheck? Even though I'm a poor student, I still got financial reserves. People don't realize adults like you who make decent money have tons of financial obligations which drag them down. Uh, yeah. The bottom line is, even though I make good money, that money immediately goes out to everything. I make way more money than Tevin. Like, and this year has been rough for me because this year, financially, things kind of went sour. And it's not like, for example, oh, I wasn't making good money. It was everything else. Like, all, my, all the credit card companies who I have credit cards with doubled their minimum payments. Because if you guys didn't hear in the news, 
uh, because of everything going on in the government and everything, I definitely don't want to get into political discussion here. But basically, interest rates went up this year. So all credit card rates went up and credit card companies freaked and said, oh shit, we're, you know, we've got to make sure that people are paying enough to pay down their credit cards. So basically all my minimum payments doubled on my credit cards this year. So I'm not even exaggerating here. Probably more than a thousand dollars a month that I used to make that used to be oh save this this goes towards taxes or this goes towards a fund if I need money for something is now blown frivolously on credit card payments. What? And there's nothing I can do about that. I don't have money to pay off my credit cards. So, you know, this is money that I used to easily be, have have flexibility and it's gone, just gone like that in an instant, fucking gone. Um. All of my taxes went up this year. Not my income tax, but everything else. Property tax and the like, everything went up this year. Um, you know, a lot of stuff went up. Insurance. Insu my, my insurance payments all went up this year. You know, there's things behind the scenes that you guys don't realize. When you, especially, let me put it this way. If you guys are young, okay? If you guys are young, enjoy it. Because when I was young, I had very little financial obligations anywhere. You know? Whatever money I made pretty much got saved up for whatever I wanted to spend it on. If I wanted to go on a trip to go play Street Fighter, I would go fly across the country and go play Street Fighter in a tournament. If I wanted to save up to, to buy something nice for myself, a game system, you know, clothes, whatever, I had the, 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 the capability of doing that. I don't even have that anymore. Like, it's funny because some people, they watch a stream and they'll be like a really good stream where people are very positive and contributing a lot. Wow, Phyllis made a ton of money. This is amazing. He's going to go out and, and really, you know, treat himself for the holidays like no that goes right towards my bills and you know that's just the situation i'm in you know <clears throat> now behind the scenes bullshit i am going to tr i am trying a few things to see if i can make sense better because right now i mean you know as you guys know i don't really bother you <laughs> you serious with my financial stuff these days. Last year, this seems like the whole fucking year was just financials, 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 and I don't want to bother you in 2018 with that kind of shit constantly. Uh, so I haven't really talked about it recently. But we're coming towards the end of the year here, and I basically am in a really tough situation where I don't have money for taxes. And I'm basically trying to do a few things to see if there's something I can do about that. Uh, whether it means borrowing more fucking money or refinancing or doing things behind the scenes here, you know. But it's tough. It really is tough. Like, right now, I'm being honest with you guys. I have no money. My bank account is empty. I make way more money than Tevin. And I don't have money in there again until Twitch pays me. Twitch did not pay me late. Twitch is usually pays me around the 15th of the month. It's like I said, it, it used to be all my payments came in early in the month. I used to get Patreon. I used to get YouTube. And everything would come in within three or four days of the beginning of the month. Um, YouTube usually came in around the 10th of the month. So all my payments would come at the beginning of the month. Now this year, my Patreon declined dramatically because I made a focus on streaming, not on Patreon. So I used to make a certain amount on Patreon. I make about half as much now. So that number one, that's a massive decline right there of money that I used to get early in the month. I don't. Now YouTube's paying me late in the month. They pay me like the 20th or 25th or something when they used to pay me on the 10th. So all the money's coming in much later than it used to, but all my bills are due the same time. So it's screwing me over when it comes timing. It's not the money, it's the timing of the money that screws me over. And the thing that really gets me about all of this, okay, <clears throat> is the fact that overdrafting at a bank account destroys you. It, every time my, my bank account gets overdrafted, it's a $35 fee. What? And already I can tell you, it's probably happened about twice already this month. I make way more money than Tevin. So, just think about that. That adds up, you know? If it happens, you know, a bunch of times, you're talking hundreds of dollars of fees, and I just don't have the money for it. You know what I mean? Like, even though I could be making good money, which I am, it, I owe it all to other people. So it immediately comes in and goes right the fuck back out. I make way more money than Tevin. Um, and it sucks. It could really feel sometimes like uh, there's a weight on my shoulders that, you know, how am I ever gonna get out of this situation? And it sucks because sometimes when it looks like I'm doing good, then all of a sudden something else happens, right? Um, last year in particular, things were looking great, and then we had the whole tax situation with the state. That screwed me over. That cost me, no lie, by the time that that was done, the whole state taxes situation that was fucked up probably cost me about $5,000, you know, out of nowhere uh, by the end of it. Because basically it was so bad, man. It was just like, not only did I have to figure out how to pay the state taxes 
then I had to pay the fucking accountant so much money. He billed me so much money for his work. It was insane. And guess where that went? Right onto the credit cards. Because I didn't have $5,000 lying around, so it went right to the credit cards. See what I mean? Um, if you're young, enjoy it. Seriously. Enjoy the life you have. Enjoy the freedom before you get tied down in all kinds of financial shit. Um, you know, and, and just do the most with your young life while you can before you get tied up in all this kind of crap. Alright? So... <clears throat> BULLSHIT! So all that being said, I appreciate your concern if it's legit Hodor Targ. I'm not exactly sold on that it is. Um, and in particular, right now, because of the tough patch I'm in, if you could tip me today, that's the way to help me out the most, all right? Um, to Zeriel Cheer, he says, Dude, get rid of your condo. Stop saying you can't. You absolutely can't. Taking a bath and losing on it is better than just paying for it and not for nothing. Wrong! Fuck you. Yep, I'm toxic. Absolutely wrong, to Zeriel. So here's the deal with the condo in Connecticut. I can't get rid of it. I still owe around a hundred thousand dollars on it. Yet it would at the most I could sell for it is around sixty. I don't have forty thousand dollars to pay off the rest of the mortgage. Okay? I don't. So legally I can't do that. Um if I were to just stop paying the mortgage, okay, it could probably take years, and I mean years, for them to say the bank say, Oh, he's not paying it, let's foreclose on it and try to take this condo from him. <clears throat> this would be years of them destroying my credit. And by the way, my credit would then probably be destroyed for about eight years after that. Meaning if I ever need to credit for anything, I don't have it. And by the way, if my credit tanked, all my credit cards and everyone would probably cancel them. So that's the liquidity that I need in order to operate the business that I wouldn't have anymore. Because everything would be canceled. I wouldn't have and be able to use any kind of credit whatsoever. So it would ruin me financially if I were to just stop paying the condo. Oh, by the way, in addition... If I were somehow by some miracle be able to sell the condo, let's say I convinced my mortgage company somehow to take $60,000 for something that I owe $100,000 on, guess what? They they tax that like income. So let's say I sold that condo for $60,000 and I just use it to pay the mortgage and we're done. Guess what? I would then later on that year have to pay money as if I owed I made $60,000 profit. What? <laughs> So, yeah, that would be considered $60,000 extra income on top of what I made that year. Can you imagine the additional taxes I would owe the federal government for that? And by the way, that's money I wouldn't have because the money would go right to pay the mortgage off. Not, it's not like I would have $60,000 in my pocket, yet the government would still charge me taxes on that. Like I made profit when I didn't. So, I don't have money to do it. 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 I am completely 100% stuck with that fucking condo. Um, and can't get rid of it. Okay? At all. And it sucks. Um, it's a shitty situation. Okay? Um, basically, what the way I see it now, I've now owed that con owned that condo for about 10 years. I bought it in 2009. So now when I make my mortgage payments, it's going to start going more towards the principal than the interest, okay? A lot of you have no idea what I'm talking about, and that's okay. But basically, in the next few years, the more I pay that condo, the more it's going to pay down what I owe. And I'm hoping within, say, five to eight more years, I'll finally have paid it off enough that now I can sell it for the equal amount and get, the, get rid of it, okay? <clears throat> I hope. I really fucking hope. Um, bullshit! So we'll, we'll see, all right? We'll see. We'll see what happens. But no, there's nothing I can do with that condo, and anyone who thinks I can, you're basically incredibly uninformed, and you don't know what you're talking about, okay? <clears throat> all right, hold our tarts cheer. He says, I thought you, so you get money in the middle of the month, and Twitch is just late in a rare instance. I mean, they're not late at all. Like I said, they're not, they're not late um, at all. Why am I toxic? So, that it's not an issue of, oh, they're late or anything like that. It's an issue of, basically, since all of my my money that comes in changed since the summer. Because, like I said, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not partnered with Curse anymore. When I was, I would get paid around the 10th of the month. That now doesn't happen. Now I get paid later in the month from YouTube. So, that was one major payment that I used to get that used to be earlier that's much later. Oh, by the way, that payment when it comes in is way less now. Because YouTube revenue has really, you know, bottomed out ever since the summer when all that crap happened to my YouTube channel. So, it's like a double whammy. Not only am I getting paid later, I'm getting paid less. 
and I haven't recovered from that. I'm not even into a set schedule that works right now where, oh, you know, all my bills are clearing properly. No, every month I'm basically, you guys are contributing and as, as tips and stuff come in, I'm shuffling money around to my bank account and I'm shuffling money here and there to try to get money into position to pay everything. And it hasn't, it hasn't evened out yet, you know. Quite frankly, I don't know if and when it will without me doing some other kind of action behind the scenes. Like I said, trying to refinancing and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how it's going to because it's just – it's it, every month now, everything's fluctuating everywhere. It's pretty crazy, okay? Anyway, you can suck my balls and uh, lick my tank. I'm playing with us. Dark side Phil. What? Worthless humans. Fuck you. Fucking piece of shit. Forever. No. And ever. Oh, my God. <laughs>